I'm always right, sunshine. Out the car. <laughs> now I'm. My God, <laughs> Jock McElvery. Uh, well, I'm blessed. We Andy Ross. Uh, uh, I haven't seen you since we left the school. Since we left the school. Uh, oh, <laughs> fantastic to see you again, Jock. Fantastic to see you again, Andy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Well, so you're in the police, eh? I'm in the police. I've got myself in the police, eh? That's why I'm wearing the uniform. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, listen, Andy. For the sake of all these good times we used to have, eh? Are you going to let me have with this ticket, eh? <laughs> no. I can't do it. Joe Michael Venny. Uh, I don't need to ask your name, eh? <laughs> well, Andy, your name, see, this will be my third endorsement. I mean, I'll lose my license. Sorry, Jock. I am an honourable policeman, you understand? It's just not in my power to do that. I can't just... I just oh, can't... Come on, lad. I mean, I'll lose my job. Oh, well, I just can't do it, Jock. I'm sorry. Now, where were we? Jock Michael Venny. I got that bit. Now, let's... Oh, well, uh, you were never really one of the lads, anyway. You were a big fierty. What do you mean, fierty? Who's, who's, who's for you? Were. I remember you. You never had the guts to do nothing. I, mean, I, I never had, I, I never, yeah. Well, you, you listen to me, <laughs> Michael Benny. You listen to who, who do you think threw the bricks through the baker's window? That was you, sir. Nothing, nothing. What do you mean, nothing? No, well, all right then, all right then. What about the shoplifting in Woolies? Eh? Who pinched 28 bars of chocolate in one afternoon, eh? What was that? Oh, you never did. I did that. I was me. I was shoplifting everywhere. Just not, not even just in Woolies. All over the place. I was, all right, then. Who, who do you think put the sugar in the minister's petrol tank? I was me, you know. I was me. <laughs> who set fire to the sports centre, burned it to the ground? Arson, I was into, boy. Arson, I was burning everything all over the place. Really something else. Who got wee Maggie McCann into trouble and didn't have to pay a penny? I'll <laughs> <laughs> tell you something else that nobody else knows. Who do you think pinched the poor box out the church? <laughs> that was me, sir. I'm... I'm... <laughs> Fantastic to see you again, Joe. Fantastic to see you again, Andy. <laughs> Rawson has just arrived at Glasgow Central, seven hours late. British Rail apologise for any inconvenience to passengers. <laughs> well, let's have some service here. <laughs> well, what have you got for a man who spent nine hours on a train from an address? Mutton chop, toad in the hole, or mince. <laughs> hey, I'll have mince, yes. Quite fond of mince. Another reason. That's fine, that's not bad, yes. Boiled potatoes, chipped, or mashed. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, mash. Mash will do, definitely mash, yes. <laughs> Peas, carrots, or baked beans? Uh, oh, baked beans, yes, I'll have baked beans. <coughs> Anything else? Uh, yeah, is that porridge you've got there? Aye. Uh, give us a couple of handfuls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Uh, 
and, and a wee bit of rice pudding just to <laughs> finish up. <laughs> that's lovely. And some uh, some nice runny custard. Oh, that's beautiful. That's <laughs> uh, yes, that's uh, that's splendid. Thank you very much indeed. Right. Oh, maybe just finish it off with a wee spot of tomato sauce. Like this. <coughs> that's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a terrific new jewelry. Give me a little colour, you're a screamer. Come on. Gather around. I've got a wonderful jewelry. It's a terrific new jewelry. I've laughed already. I've heard it before. It seems some of these two, uh, these two have Avadorians, you see. And you know, you know how mean the Avadorians are. You know, they hang the loop paper out to dry. <laughs> anyway, these, these, these two Avadorians have been married for 20 years. How come for you, Aberdeen? Oh, do you? Yeah. And I don't like Aberdorian jokes. Oh, come on, Biggin. It's just a joke, for heaven's sake. Where's your sense of humour? Just, just a wee joke, just a bit of fun. Anyway, it's a free country. Ah, uh, true enough. Ah. You go ahead and tell your joke. Thanks very much. I'll phone for the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, uh, anyway, anyway the, 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 these two Irish fellas, you see. I uh, thought you said they were Aberdonians. No, 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 that's another joke all together. I don't even to tell that, you know. It's a stupid joke anyway, just a stupid joke, that. You know, it just perpetuates the mirth that Aberdonians are all big, uh, uh, handsome. Thing. Anyway, these two uh, Irish men, you see, and oh, they were absolutely stupid Irish Jews, they were, you see. <laughs> these, these, these two Jews, you see, they were, uh, they were living in, in Ireland. Uh, here, wait a minute, now. Just uh, what exactly do you mean by that? Well, well, when I say, when I say living, I don't, I don't mean exactly they were resident, you know, they were there on holiday, you know, they were just kind of passing through for the Abbott for the Abbott. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> These two uh, uh, Jews, you see, called uh, Moishe and Jaime, you see, and uh, they were driving along in this car. Going to get us another pint of heavy, landlord, please. Anyway, you want the heavy? <laughs> We've got heavy. Oh, in the name of God. <laughs> Hi. Uh, anyway, there were, these, there were these two. Uh, there were these two West Indians, you see. West Indians. Aye, uh, West Indians. And uh, the one, uh, the, the, the one, you know the stupid name. Called Moshe and Jaime. Called Moshe and Jaime. Aye, why do you remember that? Aye, why do you get Jaime? Aye, you know the stupid names these missionaries used to give them. You know, especially Jew. Uh, 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 <laughs> the two, they were, were stoning along in this car, you see, and, and one says to the other, fit like a uh, uh, begor, uh, uh, hello there, he says. <laughs> Hello, mate. So, so I, 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 I think there's something there. Uh, wrong with it. What the hell's that? Oh, that would be the pretty and sober poet. This fella's telling the joke. Oh, no, it's not it's nothing at all. On you go. Let's have a song. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Let's hear the joke. Oh, no, I've lost the thread anyway. Oh, no, come on, come on now. On. You were just getting to the bit about the two niggers. Nicaraguans, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> What a coincidence! Nic Sanchez here is a Nicaraguan. What's that? Hello, hello there, Sanchez. Nice, my good. What a tan you've got. Eh? <laughs> now, well, uh, I was just telling a joke about these two Nicaraguans. You see, that got a lift uh, in the car with two uh, two Swedes. You see. And and, uh, and 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 these two Swedes, uh, oh, they were hell of a stupid Swedes, you see. And my sister says, I don't think my indicator's working, you see. I wonder, be a good man and get out and have a look, you see. Sexist. So, pardon? That's sexist. It what? presupposes only men are capable of repairing cars. All right, there were two Swedish women then, is that Swedish? <laughs> Swedish women, long hair and big boobs, is that all right? Male chauvinist stereotypes. Ah, there were these two male chauvinist stereotypes. <laughs> and they were stood along and, 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 and you see, there were these Spanish hermaphrodites. <laughs> this, this bloody car, you see. One says, I don't think my indicator's working. You can have a look in the other. Well, I get certain he looks at the indicator, he says, No, it's working, no, it's no, no, it's working, no, it's no. <laughs> these, these two Spanish hermaphrodonians, they uh, waste up. the hell are we? We've heard it. Hey? Some fella told it in here yesterday. Only the way he told it, it was two Peruvian unicorns. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
creature, he speaks. Yes, yes. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought I only come in for a filling. <laughs> we are not in the dentist, my friend. You are in the laboratory. Oh. Jeez, that's better. <laughs> what do you say I was, pal? The laboratory. I have just pulled you back from the edge of the abyss. Oh, I had my heat doing the pan again, eh? Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what a night, what a night that was. The party's still going on, you'd say. <laughs> there is no party, my friend. Huh? I have only just created you. You what? I have only just created you. I, not in my own image, perhaps, but I, Baron Frankenstein, have created you. I have given you the torso of a weightlifter, the legs of an athlete, and the brain of a genius. Where do you get the haircut off a badger? My chick, that is hellish, you know that? That is distinctly hellish. Hey, look what's sticking through my throat here. Yes, I must apologize for that, my friend. I've run out of the cat gut for the stitching, so I have to use the nut and so. Sorry, the... sorry, right, don't apologize. I like it, I like it. <laughs> Just hope we singer doesn't break her wallies on it when we're naked. <laughs> singer? Uh, we sing of a country for Pollock. She's my fiasco. We've been watched for about 12 years. But you can have no memory of this woman. Oh, you must be joking. We sang her once, she never forgotten, China. She at the party. I keep telling you, my friend, there is no party. No party? <laughs> Well, how is it I can smell alcohol? And the top of my head feels as if somebody saw the, the top of it somewhere. No, 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 the alcohol is to sterilize the instruments. You've got a band. <laughs> Would your head hurt? Because I am just after transplanting your brain. My brain? Yes, you see, you did not have a brain, my friend. I am just after giving you one. You've got me a brain? Yeah. It's the brain of one of the greatest geniuses in this wonderful country of ours. Well, you, you don't mean... Correct. Baron von Strudelboom. Baron von... Who? <laughs> Who the hell's Baron von Strudelboom? Hey, how did, when did he become a, one, of, one of Scotland's greatest geniuses? I thought you were talking about Larry Marshall or Jim Baxter. <laughs> no, 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 no. What is this Scotland? I don't mean Scotland. I mean this wonderful country of ours. Transylvania. Transylvania? You mean this is no castle milk? <laughs> there is no use looking out of the window, my friend. All you will see are the barren wastes, the ruined shacks, and the occasional peasant lying about in the street. Ah, uh, that's Castle Bob. <laughs> Come over here, my friend, and see what I am preparing for you. Is it something nice? You all shakes. Oh! You like her? Like her, I love her. I see Avon didn't he call, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that? Uh, you find her comical? No, conical. <laughs> you get the point. <laughs> what out to Ireland? Did your mother come from Ireland or were your teeth out that colour? <laughs> she will not answer you, my friend. I have yet to find her a brain. Well, if you come across two, hold on to one for we sing, now, will you? See, everything, everything must be perfect. <laughs> ah, it's been about being perfect. Any throat sweeties, eh? I think I've got a frog in my throat. No, 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 no. That is just your new vocal cords settling in. My new vocal cords? Yeah. I have given you the most divine singing voice in the Western world. Oh, Jake, I've always wanted a singing voice. Who, who's the vocal cords have I got? Is it Julius? No, no, no. Uh, is it Pavar Gratis or Plastico Domingos? No, no, no. Well, who's? Well, who's? Try them out. I want. What would you say if I told you I was wearing a lacy black brassiere? <laughs> a frilly black suspender belt. And tiny. And tiny. <laughs> little black, black panties. 
<laughs> There's no one in the kitchen. What do you suggest? <laughs> well, we, uh, we, we, we could go into the, uh, we could go into the kitchen. Yes, yes. And I, I could take off your black brassiere. Oh, <laughs> yes, please. And I could take off your, your black suspender belt. Oh, goody, goody. And your black, black panties. What then? We could wash them all in biological areas. <laughs> Athletic and Nottingham Forest. That'll be a home win, I think. <laughs> Liverpool, come in. Liverpool and Rochdale. That's a draw. <laughs> Why is it, Sammy? Hey, that youngster I was telling you about, boss. Say, I've got him outside. Do you know? He is that quick. He makes Kenny Dalglish look like King Kong. <laughs> 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 Anyway, uh, I've got him outside, so I'll, I'll bring him in. I mean, he's, he's off a good seven goals. We want him about seven goals in the first half. Seven goals in the first half? Get the boy in right away. We'll sign him up without any bother. Get him in here, Sammy. Oh, hello. How are you? Nice to meet you, Pleased Sam. Pleased to meet you. Just sit down there. Nice to have you with us there. <laughs> well, uh, Sammy's told me all about you, so I think we can dispense with the usual formality. I've made out a five-year contract here for you. If you'd just like to sign it there and... There, that'll be you. Fantastic. <laughs> ah, Sally tells me you scored seven goals in the first half on Saturday. Aye, too bad I missed the second. Aye, too bad. What happened? Were you injured? No, to go to mass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss it. Knowing my brother being the cardinal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I signed it there. Ah, there. Thank you very much. I, uh, Sammy, how, uh, how long have you been a scout for Rangers? Oh, just for two days, boss. Aye. Mm -hmm. uh, what a first signing, eh? Ah. I, I, I'm, I, I must be honest. I, I didn't think Rangers signed Catholics. Oh, did you know? Did you know? No. <laughs> still, still in the black and white now, eh? Legal contract. Uh, signed it on both sides. You signed it, did you? Aye. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, of course, this, um, this contract could be void, you know, if we discover, for example, that you have a bad disciplinary record. Ah, you're in luck. Uh, Never been sent off in my life. Never been sent off. Have you been booked? No. No. You, you, have you been nearly booked? Can I see a handball? You ever fouled anybody? Fouled. No. No. You ever, ever felt it fouling in it? Well, this boy has perfect discipline on and off the field. Sammy. Yes, boss. Shut up. <laughs> well, uh, of course, you must understand something, son. You see that uh, although I have given you a five-year contract, it might just be a wee while before we can let you play for the first team. How long? About six years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that maybe is no... Point. No, but it, it's worth it. Is it? Aye. For the pride. I've been able to tell the whole world He's that... going to tell the whole world. I... <laughs> Brendan O'Malley. Brendan O'Malley. What <laughs> did son of a poor Catholic family sign for the great Glasgow Rangers? Aye. Oh. Of course, uh, now that, that depends on your fitness, son. Uh, are you, I mean, are you, are you fit? Never missed a game in my life. Never missed a game in your... No, no. Have you, uh, have, you, uh, have you ever had measles? Sorry? Measles. Did you have measles no, when you were a child? No, 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 even a wee kind of flush somewhere, a rash. Or, or did, did, you, did, you, did you ever pick your nose? Or, 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 you know, maybe uh, uh, a fluke. Have you ever had a fluke? No. Ah, he's had a fluke. He's I, had a fluke. I, I, I never what? took flukes. No, no. Oh, you never oh I take it from me, but this boy is super fit, boss. Sammy. Yes, boss. Shut up. <laughs> well, it only remains for me to welcome you to the club. Brendan. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to pass your medical with flying colours, you know. So, uh, would you like a wee uh, cigar to celebrate? How are we cigar? Oh, no. Oh, come on. A wee no. cigar will do hurt you. Come on, it's all right. I don't know. Just a one. Just a one, eh? Just a one. Aye. 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 Oh! 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 
Sammy, uh, oh. take this boy down for his medical, oh. would you? And just make sure that there are no physical defects of any kind, especially about the horns. <laughs> oh, God, Brendan O'Malley. Oh, dear. <clears throat> oh, that, oh, that wee accident does he affect his medical, boss. Oh, I hope no, is that? I hope no. Oh. Oh. Hey, wait a minute, boss. I've got another fellow outside. He's fantastic as well. Right. I went to see him at the weekend. Hat trick in the first five minutes. Oh, and what is he, a one-legged rabbi? <laughs> a Zulu warrior, a Spanish hermaphrodite. <laughs> I'm warning you, Sammy, if he doesn't come up to the image of this club, you are looking for your cards and no mess. No, he's OK, boss. He's OK, honestly. Wait now and I'll bring him in like you see him. Aye, all right. <clears throat> what could be worse than a Catholic? Well, yeah, you just like come in here. Yep. Tell you how, what him boss is own thing. <laughs> Anyone got <laughs> Sammy. Yes, boss. Just pick up your cards and you're way out. <laughs> Bloody hell. Eh? Do you know who's just walked in? Who? Matt McDonald. <laughs> He's the meanest, dirtiest, hardest man in Glasgow. Come on. Let's drink up and get out of here. Here we are, man. <laughs> we'll just see who's the meanest, dirtiest, hard man in class. <laughs> you mad Mac McDonald. Tell me the right time. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Doctor. We, we did our best, but it was near no use. The sirens and the flashing light kept the traffic away from us up ahead, you know, but when we went through a traffic light at 80 miles an hour, this car coming the other way forced us to swerve onto the pavement. Well, we had to make a detour through a pedestrian precinct, and by the time we got to the hospital, your chips were called. <laughs> oh, so you're home at last, are you, you scrawny wee weed? What sort of time do you call this to come in? I suppose you've been working overtime again, have you, you ungrateful, thoughtless crumb? You get no consideration for me at all. After all, I'm the one who has to sit here all day with nobody to talk to. And who told you that you could come in here without knocking first? Honestly, anybody would think you own the place. You just walk in here without so much as a buy your leave. I could have been in a state of undress, but all oh, come in. That's better. Unless you knew mind where you put your feet. You nearly trod in the cat, and it's just at its dinner. And if you want any dinner, there are some cheese slices in the pantry. Although how you can work 16 hours a day in that rotten factory and then come home here expecting to be fed is beyond me. I don't sit here doing nothing all day to be expected to tell you where the cheese slices are. You're bone idle, that's what you are, bone idle. <laughs> Slam the pantry door, you know it blows the dust off the kitchen table and my chest's not what it used to be. You're a cruel, wicked person and why I don't sue you for divorce, God only knows. It's only because I am trying to make this marriage work. Oh, my first husband is much more thoughtful than you are. I'd still be with him today if he hadn't stuck his head in the gas oven in our honeymoon hotel. <laughs> they ruined the rest of the holiday, that did. <laughs> Who told you that you could have two cheese slices? Do you think that food grows in trees these days? And listen, will you stop bringing home big bits of metal from your work? What is it you've been making in the cellar anyway? Hammering, screwing, drilling all day long. Oh, that's what it is, is it? Now, what the hell do you think we want with a doorstop that looks like an old ship's cannon? And don't point it at me, you know what my nerves are like. 
What are you doing with that lighter anyway? Look, if you cause a fire in here, it's you that's going to have to pay for it. Have you paid up the insurance lately? I bet you haven't, because you never pay up anything. No, it's me that has to pay all the time. I have to do everything in this house. I lie here on this sofa and tell you to... And why are you taking that apron off? Listen, I have a whole list of chores still for you to do. You needn't think you're going out again. Where do you think you're going? You think you're going to the club? Do you think I'm going to stay here all day with nothing, nobody to talk to? And then when you come in, you just go right out again. Oh! Uh, everyone's fine, go off now. <laughs> well, uh, we'll go for a take then. Get uh, the old buzzer then. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, all right, Reverend, we're ready for you. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this will be my first if you. You sit me like. This is your first time, isn't it? This is my first time, yes. I, uh, I hope it goes well. Yeah, well, it'll be all right. If you get worried, just give your mommy a wave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be here to give you a signal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a little nervous, you know. <laughs> you look so <sighs> I'll be all right, it's just a wee frog in this room. Maybe I should shut up and give the frog a chance. <laughs> Each night this week, I shall have the pleasure of coming into your homes and chatting about normal, everyday things. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> things which... Things which sometimes turn out to be anything but normal. <laughs> and certainly don't happen every day. <clears throat> I'm thinking when I say that of the Good Samaritan. <laughs> now, there was a man, if you'll pardon the John Kearney, <laughs> who had no idea when he got up that morning that he was going to go down in history. As it happens, he failed his geography and physics as well. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> now, you'll, you'll remember what Deuteronomy said to Leviticus about Exodus. Uh, <laughs> so if you remember, there's no point in bringing it up again. <laughs> now... <laughs> Apologize. Now, <laughs> most of us, <clears throat> most of us have, uh, at one time or another, have had the opportunity, <laughs> the 
opportunity <laughs> of being a good Samaritan at one time or another without, without perhaps being, being aware, aware of it. <laughs> About about Jim and Jim and Elsie. <laughs> That's not their real names, of course, but we'll we'll call we'll call them we'll call them Jim, Jim and Elsie in, in order to to uh, protect the innocent. <laughs> 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 Devil McCare don't give a frizzins. If you had a stiff with if you had a tiff if you had a tiff with Elsie, you see, it's lovely water there. Uh, where, where, where do you get your water? Anyway, Elsie would always say to Jim. Because that was the real names, you know. <laughs> and everybody knew their real names. It was me, Sammy Dunn, and his wife, and her <laughs> 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 Close and party. <laughs> right next to the man's, you know. The man's is up a closing off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see that man? Oh, God, what a dumb woman. <laughs> anyway, Sammy, Sammy began to change, you know. I don't, I don't mean logical and hide around. It was just, well, one day it'd be sulky and moody and the next day it'd be kind of Morkham and wise, you know. <laughs> <coughs> now, as soon as we claim, as soon as we claim, as soon as soon as became clear that the Sammy, Sammy was in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harry and I he was stoned out his skull. You know? <laughs> I tried to do what I could, so I, I got him to get in touch with the with the, the, the Al Capone analogies. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's quite clearly an archipelago. <laughs> it's marvellous water, that's what <laughs> In God's name, do you get your water? <laughs> I, th I think I think I'll need to get in touch with the antiseptics and part of us as well. <laughs> uh, to resign. <laughs> Big Nirvana and me he goes home to find me Sammy on the floor. I'm so very comfortable rooted in it. <laughs> and the bath was running, the water was running down the stair, out of the clothes booth. You've never seen so much water. Not as good water as this. <laughs> <laughs> Honest, it was rushing, it was pouring, it was streaming. Hey, would you excuse me for <laughs> I, I feel a prayer coming up. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute. Gonna keep my place. <laughs> Excuse me. Where's the lavatory? <laughs> Let me just get this one. 
<laughs> Jeffrey, yeah. you want a, a, a poncho and grapefruit? Yes, yeah, that's right. Nigel, a chinzano and lemonade? Yeah. And Roger, you want a, a creme de menthe frappe? Yeah. And a snowball with a cherry for myself. Right. So that's a, that's a poncho and grapefruit, a chinzano and lemonade, a creme de menthe frappe and a snowball with a cherry. Right. Hello, uh, can, I, can I have... Um, <laughs> Four pints of any, please. <laughs> I'm in the mortuary. <laughs> in which case, I must be dead. <laughs> dead? Uh, wait a minute now, wait a minute. What are they picking me for? Because they know I've got somebody with mere experience. Is <laughs> that no amazing? I thought I was healthy too. When I did the Glasgow Marathon. The whole the whole 26 pints and three curries. <laughs> uh, it just goes to show you, doesn't it? You know, I wonder if I died and tested. <laughs> <laughs> no, any problems there? <laughs> oh, hello there, China. You snuffed it at all. <laughs> I bet it was that cocktail we had there. That was some cocktail, wasn't it? it? Blew the top of your head off. What a cocktail. Iron brew, windoline, and lighter fuel. <laughs> oh, drinks, what's that? Is that one of these seances? Is there anybody there? What do you do? I'm new to this game. <laughs> Where are you? I'm here. I'm here. Receiving you loud and clear. Oh, there you are, Thompson. I've been looking everywhere for you. What? You mean I've, I've no did? Oh, no. You just had a bit too much at the party and went for a wee lie down. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a relief, that is. Well, you better hurry up, Thompson. Matron's looking for you. I am. I'm I'm just, I'm just coming. <laughs> Well, cheerio, China. It's been nice talking to you. <laughs> have, you, have, you have you any last requests? I'm going to give you another one of these cocktails. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, get. Oh, hello. <laughs> you again. Can I, uh, can I buy you a drink? I don't mind. How about you, sir? <laughs> Oh, well, hello there, food lovers. And welcome once again to the Gallagate Gourmet. Now, as I'm sure you all know, the latest craze in this country is health food. It's flushing through the country like a bad curry. <laughs> so tonight, I'm going to do you a vegetarian dish, which if it doesn't make your mouth water, it'll certainly make your eyes water. <laughs> It's been hot pot. What will be up when I've finished with it? God only really knows. <laughs> it's been hot pot. Oh, and, and just a word of advice to those people who can't bear to eat the flesh of a living creature. Kill the bloody thing first. <laughs> and so to tonight's recipe, bean hot pot. Now, it's a very popular vegetable, the bean. Very popular. In fact, whenever I'm on my lecture tours, mention beans, a loud ripple always goes right through the audience. <laughs> so, let's begin. We've got our bowl here. And we start off with a bed of rice. There we go. 
Ah, uh, let's make it a double bed, eh? <laughs> there we are now. And to this we add our vegetables. Now, as always, these should be thoroughly clean. I use fairy liquid myself. <laughs> and of course, it always keeps my hands nice and soft. <laughs> I can see some of your slavered already. <laughs> here we go then, here. Uh, the vegetables are nice and clean. <laughs> and they go up. And uh, the cabbage, the cabbage that I'm going to use has been pickled and drained through a pair of old underpants. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Last night I was pickled myself and drained. Oh, that's another. <laughs> that's another story. Here we go then. There goes the cabbage. And there. And uh, now we add the uh, the pep. The, the how did that get in here? Oh, what a good bit of cheetah. <laughs> Been there for a week now. <laughs> now we add the peppers. Here we've got uh, green peppers. Paste some daintily in the in the bowl there, and the red peppers. And while we're at it, we might as well stick in the Sunday peppers. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course the beans. Here we have the beans. <laughs> Here we are now. Now, hygiene, as always, is of paramount importance. So mind you don't slash your wrists on the uh, on the tin here and bleed all the recipe. <laughs> Otherwise, it might turn into a black pudding. <laughs> there we are now. <laughs> Lovely beans there. I think that's a bit enough. <laughs> now, at this point in time, I think it's time we had a leak. <laughs> I had one up against the wall just a minute ago. And <laughs> here we are now. Nice leap. What did you see that? But its finger sticks nose at me here. <laughs> now. Well, it's protein. <laughs> There's the leap there. And finally, out of the top of this, we have the blue cheese, just to get a touch of Guinness say quoi. Ah, here they are, the blue cheese. The blue cheese we sprinkle over the top of this here. <coughs> here we got a gas mask. Here we are now. And uh, this uh, is just about ready now, and we put it in the oven for about six hours, or at least until the sanitary inspectors went home. <laughs> now, as you can see, the Gallagher Gourmet has all the... Uh, the latest in the technological appliances, like this microwave oven here. Here we are. I'll just uh, light that for you. <laughs> I don't understand that. Doesn't take the light. Does it? Maybe we've got. Oh, I see what's happened. The pilots just went out. <laughs> I have another one uh, here that I have cooked earlier, and uh, we'll just get it out there. We'll just get it out the oven now. Oh. Oh. There it. <laughs> just perfect, that. Just perfect. I may say that this bean hot pot is especially good for those of you who are on a diet. One mouth for this, and you'll gaff your chuck for a pot. <laughs> Also, it's particularly good if you're having a party and you're looking for a, a really good blowout. So, here we are then. Next week, I'll be <coughs> telling you about seafood. I'll have advice for ladies worried about the size of their muscles, men worried about the size of their winkles, and I'll also be showing you how to grab a crab, peel a eel, and wallop a scallop. All the best of Do not forsake me, oh my darling. On this wedding day Do not forsake me Tidoon oh, takes I 
do not know what fate awaits me I only know I must be brave and I must face a man who hates me or I your coward I don't know if it's not heard you yet. <laughs> Connie Park here, son, double yellow line. <laughs> I'm saying night rider. But you can't stay here, there's no parking. And another thing, you've got no tax disc, got no registration number here. That's contrary to subsection 14, 19, 2704A of the Road Traffic Act. Oh, I see, yeah. No prepared to cooperate, eh? Right, well then, I'll just have to take down a few particulars. And I must warn you that anything you say may be written down and used in evidence against you. <laughs> Except that. <laughs> now, you're no, you're no fair in here, are you? I mean, you don't look as if you're a in here. You look as if you come from some an exotic place, you know, maybe like Drum Chapel. <laughs> That's a right fancy looking foreign car you go. I thought for a minute it was the Pope Mobile. <laughs> You've been on the baby. <laughs> Silence, Earth being, cease your pathetic prattling. You a poof? <laughs> what was that you pressed there? This is an intergalactic translator. It allows me to speak to you and you to comprehend my language. An intergalactic? Uh, oh! Is that right? An intergalactic? Um, uh, does it work on the telly? I can't understand these East Enders. You know? I am queer. I knew it. <laughs> The minute you opened your mouth, I knew it. <laughs> My name is Queer. I have come from Jupiter, past Saturn and Mars, on my way to Uranus. <laughs> no, just... Just don't you be cheeky. I had to stop here. I had trouble with asteroids. Oh, don't surprise me, you <laughs> Well, never mind all that. Just give us your name and address and don't forget your postcode. You fool, I have no postcode. I am an alien and you will not stop me in my mission. Well, I don't need a torch like that. I'll just stay uh, right underneath this uh, lamp light here. This is not a torch. This is a brain cell disintegrator. It will reduce your brain to the size of a child's. You will become a toddler again. A helpless baby of five. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Did you really think that wee torch there could turn me, a man of my intelligence, a, a man of my superior intellect, a man that watches three, two, one? <laughs> And a craft, in fact, and a master team every every week without fail. Did you really think I could turn me into a baby, a child, a toddler? Because if so, by Jings, China, you are in trouble. You are in big, big trouble. Why? Because I'm going to get my daddy to you. <laughs> I don't think so. 
Here we're, we're having a wee argument over here, and they, they said it wasn't, and I said it wasn't. They oh. said it couldn't be because you wouldn't be here, and I said, of course you could be here. Well, it is me. I said, I said, possibly he's visiting somebody in the psychiatric ward. <laughs> no, like the fellow who makes your sports jacket. <laughs> so, see, I had, a, I had a wee bet with him. You see, I bet him ten quid that it was you. Oh, it's me, all right. And it is you, isn't it? Yes, it is. I knew, I knew. You know this. You're my greatest fan. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, listen, see you in the telly. I never miss you. I never miss you. Listen, every time you make an appearance there, I've watched, I've watched. It doesn't That's matter very, what you do, I'm there all the time. Very but nice of you. The wife thinks you're rubbish, you know what I mean? <laughs> I say, no, at all. I say, no, the boy's all doing all right. You know, fair's fair. He's not all that bad, I say. Oh, it's very good of it. Ah, so, uh, you got to get your autograph? Sure, sure, delighted. Ah, you got a pen? <laughs> and a bit of paper. <laughs> but it's not for me, you understand. It's not for me, it's, it's for my wee girl. Oh, is it? Uh, uh, just what's the name? To Alec. <laughs> Alec? Alec, I uh, cried her after me. <laughs> well, this is awful good. I do appreciate it. The no, one, it's all. Oh, it's, it's, it's awful good. I mean, I, I must thank you awful much. Oh, very one, one in my bet, you know, one in my bet for me, and give, give me your autograph. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, you were right enough, boys. It's no Bamber gas going at all. <laughs> Hello again. Hello there. Hi. 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 And Hi. welcome to a very special New Year's edition of the Beach Grove Garden. Oh, it's the Beach Grove Garden. Oh, I, I, I. <laughs> Which comes to you from our own special greenhouse here at Television Centre. For the Television Centre, right. <laughs> oh, right. We, uh, we, were, uh, we were going to hear uh, a visit to Dingwall, were we not, Jim? Aye, we were. We're going to plan to go to Dingwall, but then uh, again, who the hell wants to be in Dingwall on <laughs> New Year's Eve, eh? Uh, 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 who the hell wants to be on the aisle? Oh, aye, aye. Exactly <laughs> well, now then, here we are. That's where we are. We're we here. Are now. <laughs> we're, uh, we're here, and we're in the middle of winter, aren't we? Well, actually, oh, we're the, definitely we're in the middle uh -huh. of something, aye. Uh -huh. and, it's, and it's not I over oh, there, you They keep switching about aye, here. Oh, just and, where we are uh, here, aye. and it's not ideal weather for gardeners, is it's it? It's not ideal weather for. Uh, where are we now? Oh, I were here. Oh, aye. yes. <laughs> it's not ideal weather for gardeners, no. It's certainly not ideal. As a matter of fact, you know, that's called weather. It's playing havoc with my gooseberries. Oh, yes, I. Oh, yes, and mine too. Oh, is that Mine right? too, yes. Aye, oh, aye. In fact, I think I'll just pull mine off and put them in the air and cover them. <laughs> yes. Well, well, that's a good place for gooseberries, you know, you can. I think I'll just let mine hang out and let them take what's coming. Oh, right. so, uh, well, we're as we're saying, we're in the middle of winter. That's where we are. And we've got uh, Arctic conditions. We've got Arctic conditions. We've aye, got uh, aye. ground frost oh, aye, and aye. freezing winds. Ah, that's what eh? we've got, aye. Now, what should all keen gardeners be doing at this time of the year? Eh, uh, sitting in front of the telly with a wee drama. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Aye. Just exactly. Oh, you're away again. It's what over Just here, exactly. Right. Just exactly. Just exactly. Now, uh, is there any kind of wee drama we could recommend to the to the viewers? Well, my favourite uh, of all time is this, this one here. No, it's this specimen here. I don't know who is. It's a. Uh, <laughs> it's a lovely specimen. This is called Grossilaria scotchy pussy eye. <laughs> And man, it's a it's a grand looking uh, specimen, as you say, right uh, enough uh, now, isn't it? Now, if the cut here we are, if this camera can just pick up, isn't here, that right? nice? Now, just look at the lovely colour of that, right. and of course the texture, oh, and of course you see, you see, there's this delicate aroma, just this delicate aroma floating right, up there. Right. Do you mind? Do you mind if we take a wee cutting? Uh, <laughs> well, no, just uh, just for the top, no, the bottom. <laughs> I said the top, no, the bottom. 
Oh, <laughs> my goodness, grand neck that, isn't aye, it? Aye, aye, aye. Now then, this, you see, if oh, what, uh, this is one of the miniature varieties, isn't it? Oh, that's no why. It was a big one before you got your heart. <laughs> Now, now, there's a very important bit here. There's right. a lot of the viewers, right. and a great many viewers, conjugate many... theirs just to taste like that. No, well, the problem would probably be overwatering. Ah, oh, just exactly, you see. You see, and that's wrong, you see, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's a bloody crime, huh? <laughs> no, overwater. No, you see, you should just take it here, like that, just take it in the hand, and uh, just let it swell run gently before planting it right down. There it goes, isn't that marvellous? Now, of course, uh, to be on to be on the safe side, of course, you've got to space them Boy. well. <laughs> yes, uh, we were uh, we the one day. Aye, there it. To be on the safe side, I was saying, you had to space them out well, haven't you? Oh, you've got to space them out well, aye, aye. But this time of year, I would say you have to space them out about every two minutes. <laughs> For how long would you think, George? Oh, until maybe you're flat out in the bed. I <laughs> now, isn't that a grand display That's now? A grand isn't it? Display, right, right, now, right, surely right. with uh, you know such a, a profusion there, aye, aye. Uh, wind, wind must be a major problem. Oh, wind, aye. <laughs> <laughs> a major problem. Mind you, when you're planting this many, I always, I always go for the salts. Oh yes, sir. Uh, what kind of salts would that be now? Uh, summer salt. <laughs> Well, of course, uh, in the winter, it's winter salt. Oh, yes. Winter well, salt. I must say, oh, this uh, winter salt has all been very interesting, hasn't ah, it? Oh, well, that makes a change, I yes. guess. <laughs> now, just finally, before we go, George, just finally before we've, we've, uh, we've had a letter. No. We have. Oh, well. <laughs> yes, we've had a letter from the viewer. Oh, that was off a nice young to write. What's he writing about? Well, that? he's off a keen just to find out just exactly what's the best kind of garden tool to cut a privet hedge. Oh, that's an easy one. Shears. Oh, just a <laughs> Oh, that was wonderful. I wanted it to be so special for you. Did you enjoy it? Oh, yes. I mean, usually I only get a glass of milk and a biscuit. <laughs> Calm down, Daisy. Just calm yourself. Calm down. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarge. I'm just, I'm just so worried. He's only, he's only a wee wee dog, you know. He's been gone for hours now, hours. Uh, well, so you said, sir. Eh? Can you tell me what your dog's name is? Yeah, Precious. <laughs> he's just, he's just a wee poodle, you know. I've had him, I've had him ever since since he was a pup. You know, we've been together for such a long time. Is that right, sir? Just, he's my life, Sarge, my, my whole life. Can you give us a description of uh, Precious? Yes, he's uh, he's twelve now. Twelve. Uh, about eighteen inches high. Black curly hair. <laughs> Have we? Tap and call her a bell. <laughs> and a coat. A coat? A wee blue coat with his name on it. <laughs> it ties underneath his. It ties underneath. <laughs> They've got lovely wee booties. <laughs> and wee, wee woolly socks. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him, I gave him his, I gave him his, his coat for his birthday three years ago. Twenty ninth of May. <laughs> He's a Gemini. <laughs> if anything's happened to him, I don't, I don't know for. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Come on, no, no, no. Listen, I don't think anything's happened to him. So why don't you just go home and leave it all to us? We're rather good at this sort of thing, you know. Okay. I'll I'll just go home now. And 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 you'll phone if 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 you hear any, anything at all. Minute minute we hear. Slight as we bark. Yeah. Anything. <laughs> oh. Was there something else, sir? Yes, you might keep an eye open for the wife too. She was with him. <laughs> 
then after this at 2.45, Sports Scene goes live to Parkhead for the New Year Celtic Rangers game. This is the big one, and it's live, so make sure you get uninterrupted coverage of the match. Don't you worry, do you? <laughs> Couldn't get a job as a scarfy. How <laughs> sweet. Now, let me guess your name. Is it uh, Antoine? No. Or Maurice? No. Then perhaps it's Bertrand? No. <laughs> it's Shuey. <laughs> How sweet. Well, you're a very attractive young man, Shuey. Although your dinner jacket is of rather an unusual design. Ah, uh, my mother made it for me. But it's got one arm much longer than the other. Uh, so is my mother. <laughs> well, never mind. I love your hair. That glistening, scented sheen. Ah, uh, my mother will go mad when she sees the empty chip pot. <laughs> oh, and your trendy male shoulder bag. Uh. Tell me. What do you carry in it? My piece. <laughs> Your piece? Uh, you surely don't mean... No, 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 no. You would keep mine up on it. <laughs> no, my piece. No, oh, it's a sandwich. Oh, well, never mind. I shall buy you supper tonight. Oh, yeah. Something quite simple. Les escargots. Filet de sole bonne femme. Crepe Suzette. That's some of that foreign muck. Oh. oh, it's so wonderful to dance with you, Shuey. I feel so safe, so secure. <laughs> Tell me, what do you feel? I feel your bum. <laughs> oh, but apart from that, Shuey, what do you feel? I feel, I feel kind of hot shivers running down my spine. Oh. Do you think it's love? No, I think my flask's leaking. <laughs> well, never mind. I shall buy you a new one. I shall buy you lots of presents. Oh, yeah. A watch. An 18 carat jeweled prismatic digital computerized chronometer. Oh, could I know of one with a Mickey Mouse dial or not? <laughs> you shall have whatever you like, so long as you do something for me first. What's that? Come back with me to my yacht tonight. What for? I have something to show you. Something that will amuse you, excite you, fill you with flaming desire. You've got a dart, boa. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Huh? If I may, cut in. Oh, oh madame. Oh. Conduzette, chèrement. Oh. It would give me great pleasure if you would dance with me. Why, certainly. Oh, man. And the seal. Allez-vous en pouf. Who's a pouf? <laughs> Get rid of that. My bird's been stole. <laughs> By my own feather, too. <laughs> Helmet. I'm not going to come around here again. Oh, Mum, do I have to? Ah, you do. It's the law here. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, Miss Buchanan. 
Ready for your driving lesson? Yes. Let's see, this will be number... 79. Oh. That was my age last birthday. <laughs> Lovely. Well, I'll just get an instructor. OK. Mr Jackson again. Hi. Mr Jackson! Miss Buchanan's here. What is the door? Now, now, let's see, it. where did you get up to on your last lesson? She was showing me the other way out, a car. <laughs> the other way? I threw the windscreen. <laughs> I think that was some emergency stop, that. I went skating along the road like a human cannonball. Didn't you have your seatbelt on? The seat came with me. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't want to go. She's a man as I don't want to go. The other week there, the other week there, we, we overtook a motorbike. So? We were reversing at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's murdered. She drives, she drives everywhere at, uh, at 90 miles an hour. You've got dual controls. Put your foot on the brake. That's worth my foot on the brake. <laughs> There's flames and smoke coming out the tyres. The fire brigade chases us all over the place. There's <laughs> bells ringing. It never catches us. <laughs> the, other week, the other week there, she killed a wee dog. A poor wee defenceless puppy. Well, it shouldn't have been in the middle of the road. We were on the pavement. <laughs> Don't, don't let me. The, the poor wee dog, I mean, that ran up a close. She still got it. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm next, oh, I don't want to go. You must go. You must go. This school guarantees that every pupil will pass their test eventually. Now listen. <laughs> Your retirement's coming up soon. You don't want to risk your pension. I don't want to risk my bloody life. <laughs> That's enough. Now, now, now. OK, now, go. OK, now. The car's outside. Oh, which one's ours? That's the usual one. Oh, dents and bumps. <laughs> and the roof hanging off. Oh, I don't like that one. The brakes squeal when I go round the corner. That's not the brakes. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Please explain to her, would you? Tell her, tell her we've got to drive on the left-hand side of the road. That's definitely important that we drive on the left. That's, that's the arrangement we've made with all the other cars. <laughs> Doesn't it matter how attractive the shops are the other side of the road? We've got to drive on the left. Oh. It's the law. Please explain that to her. Tell her. I'm sure you've got that, haven't you? Right. Yeah, she's got that. You see? Come yeah. on, then, Jacko. Right. Good. Now, just remember those hand signals. The hand signals. <laughs> I don't like the look to this, sir. It's going to be very expensive to repair. American Express. Oh, that'll do nicely, sir. <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde were pretty looking people. I can tell you people, they were the devil's children. Bonnie and Clyde began their evil doing one lazy afternoon. You lock that door and keep a look out for the poorest. Tell you, Pat. Yeah? I'll lock that door and keep a look out for the poorest. Ah, lock that door and keep a look out. Can, can yeah. I help you? Ah, have you got any, have you got any batteries for here, Nate? What? Get on with it. Yeah. Tell them it's a stick-up. Ah, this is a stick-up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stick doing. Is it stamps? Hey, do you know do you know who we are? Is it, is it, is it first class or second class? Yeah. Do, you, do you know do you know that we are how are we we we're we're who the hell are we? You wrote it doing in your bus pass. Oh I hang on, I wrote it doing in my bus pass. Oh, is, is it a post order? You can stop hunting. I've remembered. 
Bonnie and Clyde, that's who we are. Bonnie and Clyde, that's who we are. Uh, I've got to go for my dinner, my man. So, what do you want? We want. We want. We want. We want. What do we want? Uh, where, is it the pension? It's no thirsty, is it? No, it's just no, 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 thanks for that. Does he feel it thirsty? No, no the pension then. No. Hold on. What? Hold on. It's coming back to me. Oh, I knew it would, sweetheart. Oh, <laughs> God, that is dirty old messin'. I mean, I've remembered what we come in for. What is it? We come in for to rob the post office. That's what we did. We come in to rob the post office. Ah, right. Could you tell us where the nearest post office is? <laughs> You're stoning in it, stupid. No, I didn't even know it's the dog. <laughs> come on, come on. Say your piece. Oh, ah, hi. Uh, horns up your bum. Horns <laughs> up, you mean? Bum. <laughs> horns up, you bum. Oh, ah, ah. You're right enough, but horns up, my bum. Oh. <laughs> For God's sake, eh? this is a hold up. Ah. Oh, is it? Well, where's your stockings then? What? Uh, they're all wrinkled, do they? Where are Hold up, a stocking should be on a heat. No, 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 we tried that, we tried that. Oh, she did not bother with dentures, did she? Tell the man about your dentures. Oh, aye, oh, I, I pulled a stocking over my head ah. and then I put my teeth in. Ah. <laughs> the minute she spoke, she blew her dentures. <laughs> Skate all the wee glass animals after mantelpiece. Oh, <laughs> stop telling them all our business. Ah. Look. Are you going to hone over this money or have you no? Don't you come any closer. I'm no fear to have a go. Oh, best of luck, son. I've been trying for 15 years. <laughs> Shut up, Clyde, and get on with it. We're going to be late. What, what? Meals on wheels. Oh, uh... And it's bananas and custard today. Oh, it's no. That uh... does it. That does it. Look, you get that money you've got into your bag there. Otherwise, I'll get this in a climb out of the counter and <laughs> indecently assault you. Well, well, you put it that way. Ah. What did you say to him, Clyde McCutcheon? Nothing at all, sweetheart. Nothing oh. at all. No. Oh, here. Oh, listen. Erapolis. Oh. oh, we'll have to get out of here. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to make our getaway. <laughs> Why not? I still can't find my bus pass. Oh. <laughs> Hello there, gorgeous. You fancy a boogie? What's up? Forget your hanky. <laughs> about dancing, that you don't fancy getting doing and giving it the old laying an egg, you mean? No hands. Talking about dancing, dancing, do you fancy? Oh look, drab did you have poor eyed dumpling? Just kinda make up your mind, eh? <laughs> I'll have you know that my Pasadoble was greatly admired in Turmalinas this huh? year. Oh, well, you shouldn't have had it hanging out the bottom of your swimming trousers. <laughs> oh, look, going to no stone there, eh? You're taking the good away from my outfit. I went out there and asked that wee woman to dance. Have her a face like an upside dune cake. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to dance with her. That's the managing director's wife. Oh. Oh, well, where is the managing director, then, eh? You look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, pray silence for the father of the bride. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I will be having the honor of proposing a toast. So, would you please see that your glasses are, are full? Uh, just a spot, please. Uh, well, a bigger spot than that. <laughs> Are we running short or something? <laughs> oh, here, I'll never be able to drink all that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I must, I must, I must tell you that uh, I'm not at all sad at all at uh, losing losing a daughter. Uh, especially when I have, I'm gaining a wonderful son like Brian. Now, Brian's been coming round 
Oh, I'm sorry. A wonderful sunlight Roger. <laughs> sorry, Brian. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> well, who was Brian then? Which oh. one was Brian? Just get on with it. Ah. Well, uh, it's a very, a very, mo a very mo emotional time for a father to have his daughter in the arms of another man. And, uh, well, you know, I can remember I used to bounce her on my knee, as I, I think Roger's already done. <laughs> and I always, I always used to say to her, I said, listen, daughter, I said, because I could never remember her name. <laughs> I said, daughter, I said, don't you worry, Mr. Wright will come along one day. And to think she nearly threw herself away on that big, Nigerian. <laughs> that was you, you mug. <laughs> Lovely tan, she said. <laughs> Ended up in Peter Heed. <laughs> anyway, my daughter, my daughter saw the light eventually, and I think she's done the right thing in putting the baby up for adoption. Because <laughs> now, of course, there's absolutely nothing to come between Bra uh, Roger and ourselves during these many happy days, which I am sure have to come. Now, the wife, our mother, <laughs> I couldn't be more proud. But I, I, was, I was just like... <laughs> I would, I would just like to say how happy I am <laughs> that my good wife has managed to be here after a wee operation. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, I think probably our gynaecologist would be fizzing if he knew she was up and about already. I must say it's sad to say that the, the groom's father is no longer with us and can he be here today? Our sympathies go out to Mrs. Magruder. I believe it's almost a year ago that her man was taken away from her. <laughs> By that wee lass that worked my service. <laughs> <laughs> However, for, whatever, whatever they are now, whatever they are now, I'm quite sure his petrol pumps in good height. <laughs> and he probably, I'm sure, would wish his boy all the best. No. Well, you just, well, you just hurry up and sit down. You're behaving like a cretin. Oh, I, I forgot to mention the minister. <laughs> yes, well, well done, well done, your reverence, your, your holy well. Well done. And you, you keep a lovely vestry. And if you say these dirty magazines and the plain brown wrappers know yours, that's good enough for me. <laughs> now, just before I go, uh, there's a message here which has come in too late for the, the best man to read. And uh, it's just to say, Roger, it's you're all clear from the clinic. <laughs> So you can go on your honeymoon with a clear conscience. Now, uh, I would now like to propose a toast to two people who have made this a memorable and most enjoyable day for me personally. The bar staff. Take it to Edinburgh, please. Single, return, day return, weekly, monthly, a season, away card, student rail card, senior citizen, or HM forces, first class, second class, facing the engine, facing away for the engine, and facing the engine. <laughs> smoking, non soaking, trying to gee up, smoking, via Pullman, via Perth, via Arthur, via Sleep, a big city saver, a night rider. Racing car, boofy car, or just a wee piece of your horn. If you're taking a push bike, motorbike, livestock, or wains, it's half the adult pair, unless of course the adults went in a party in a family rail car. In any case, you'll have to wait till tomorrow because the last train went five minutes ago. <laughs> Well then, Miss Ridley, if you see the man who flashed you in the high street, just point him out to me. Very well, Sergeant. Well, now, Mr. 
Miss Ridley, did you spot the man? I'm afraid not, Sergeant. Same time again tomorrow as usual, Sergeant. <laughs> Same time tomorrow, Miss Ridley. Bye -bye. <laughs> well, now, before we wish you all good night and a happy 1985, let's see what the weatherman has in store for us. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> My name is Fish. <laughs> or is it Newt? <laughs> oh, right the first time, Fish. <laughs> Known to my friends as the poor old soul. <laughs> well, uh, <it's> <laughs> Of a day today. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, there's been absolutely no weather at all. <laughs> However, I can tell you that there are isobars all over the place. <laughs> and I've been in every one of them. <laughs> Uh, there's, a, there's a pit of high rotter, a, a pot of high fish, a, a high... <laughs> well, it's a wee now, anyway. <laughs> Gales are expected from the north, and there's a shower expected from the west. And when the gales from the north meet the shower from the west, there's going to be a hell of a party. <laughs> so there we are. Not much of a day to borrow. <laughs> but today it doesn't look too bad at all. Is Daddy cross with Mummy's little coochie woochie? What did Mummy's little darling do then? Mummy's little darling just performed on the carpet, didn't she? <laughs> what naughty! Give Mummy kissy. That's better. And what did naughty Daddy do then? I rubbed her nose in it. <laughs> with a great feeling of joy <laughs> that I accepted the invitation to come along and have one of our uplifting little chats together. <laughs> As you can see, I'm quite overcome. <laughs> Indeed, I'm finding it quite difficult to speak because of the emotions which are <laughs> surging within me. After my last broadcast, at least God and I said it was my last, <laughs> I received hundreds of letters from you. Oh, when I say hundreds, there was, in fact, about 20 or 30. <laughs> well, to be absolutely honest, there was this postcard from here. <laughs> it showed the cemetery at the old cup and bore the legend, wish you were here. <laughs> I suppose it was meant to be a joke. <laughs> I didn't laugh. <laughs> Although, as most of you know, I have a pretty lively sense of humour. <laughs> However, I gather that my talk last time had some beneficial effect. Many of you decided after listening to me that your own lives were not nearly so bad as you <laughs> Of course, this is our function in life, to lighten the load, if we can, of our fellow humans. Cheery word here. <laughs> Smile of encouragement there. And I think it's important not to give people the impression that I'm any different from. I mean, I often go into a pub and have a drink just as if I was normal. <laughs> I 
I must admit that one of my greatest helpmates is my wife, Ephesia. <laughs> I just don't know what I would do without her, even if I got the chance. <laughs> she accompanies me everywhere I go. It's either that or having to kiss her goodbye. <laughs> I'm sure you'll agree that it's wonderful to be blessed with a good life partner. And I can truly say that our marriage was made in heaven. It's not so good down here. It's nice to have something to look forward to. Of course, there are times when in spite of a cheery disposition and personal warmth, you feel somewhat inadequate. For instance, a woman phoned me the other day saying she was going to do away with herself. So, of course, I rushed round, and here she was standing in a chair in the middle of the sitting room with the flecks of the centre light round her neck. You could see she was upset. <laughs> but, oh, could I get a word in? She stood there shouting abuse cussing and swearing, just wouldn't listen to anything I had to say. So I just kicked the chair away. <laughs> and now, a prayer. Oh, God. <laughs> 